Hello everyone. Christina has just left the house and taken the girls to Awana for the evening and I have decided that I'm going to start this video with a little bit of a confession for you. Alright, breaking it down. I'm not good at the traditional vlogging style. I'm not very good at going into anywhere and just talking. I'm very good at getting the action shots and all the important stuff that you might see on like a family trip or something, but looking at the camera and talking, it's just, just not me. I, I don't why I haven't found my niche yet. I think it just boils down to needing more practice. Uh, so that's what I'm doing today. Today I'm gonna go ahead and give myself a haircut. So with going to the barber being off the table, I've pretty well been getting myself spun up on how to give myself a haircut. Uh, the first couple attempts were not pretty and I have by no means mastered it. Don't get me wrong there. I mean, I have not got it, got it down yet. Um, but I've got it down enough that I can get by and maintain uh, military standards. Uh, as you can see, I'm getting a little scruffy around the sideburns, and that's, or well, I guess around the sides, and that's where I mainly like to try and keep it trimmed short. Um, I'm usually like a high fade kind of guy, uh, with uh, skin tight on the sides as close as I can get. I think the top should be long enough, but uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys uh, have uh, cowlicks, and I've got one in particular. I'm no different. I've got this guy right here that's just freaking terrible and it's it's just unmanageable so yeah i'll be giving myself a haircut today and hopefully i can practice talking to the camera a little bit so bear with me all right so i got a few things i like to do first to get myself set up for the haircut uh i don't have anything super fancy with my clipper setup it's just this little cheap uh, what is this a phillips i think yep phillips noroco uh, just something small and convenient, travel size even, so you can take your haircuts on the road. I like to get my clipper blades or uh, guards laid out in their order of size. I generally won't use these longer ones unless I'm touching at the top, but I've got the number one already on the, the clippers themselves, and that will help me get my ball line set up for my fade. And then from there, it's just a matter of fading in the short side of the hair all the way up to the longer side at the top. Now for the hair collection, I generally will put down a grocery bag or something on the countertop and I'll have a broom handy to clean up the floor when I'm done. Uh, you don't want to wear uh, wear socks or anything uh, while you're doing this because uh, you, once you get hair and air in your socks, it's kind of tough to get them out. And this shirt normally is gone. It, it, I normally just don't even wear a shirt. But for the video, I'll go ahead and throw on like a cheap tank top or something. All right, I know I said cheap tank top, but this is actually one of my favorite tank tops. Uh, I know it's a little bit funny to read right there, but says i cause safety briefs which i don't know i found it kind of funny since uh like generally a pretty safe individual for the most part uh I just thought it was humorous okay so the hair cutting itself is a little tricky doing it yourself especially towards the back of the head uh that's why having two mirrors is handy this little side mirror here isn't terrible uh if you have a little hand mirror that works out pretty nicely as well uh, but for the most part it's just take your time go slow and uh, hopefully you don't mess it up. I mean, that was my biggest fear when I first started too. Was, I had it always back in my head, if I mess it up, then I'd just buzz it right off. Um, but yeah, this has actually saved us quite a bit of money. Normally when I go to a BX, I usually spend uh, close to what, 16, 17 bucks a haircut, uh, just with the tip and everything involved with it. And I don't know why, I don't generally like the haircuts that I get from the BX. It's like, I can jack my hair up and it, it can look pretty much exactly the way it would after I come back from the BX. So I figured if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna let somebody jack up my hair, might as well be me. I mean, I'm not spending any money on myself. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, I don't know if I'm gonna use this part in the video or not. I've got these random nails in the wall that are kind of just conveniently mounted to be like facing right at me. So okay, here's hoping. <laughs> Alright, so I like to start on one side and work my way around to the back. Um, I'm going to be cutting my bald line first, so <laughs> here goes nothing. Hopefully uh, I can keep this, keep this brief and hopefully I don't jack up too bad, so there we go. Yeah, and you just essentially just want to start at the bottom and work your way on up. Try to keep the line as even as possible. It may be a little tricky, but yeah, start start small, work your way up. And definitely don't forget these little guard hairs you get around the uh, inside of the ear. That's uh, they can be a little tricky and easily missed, and they'll bug the hell out of you later on if you do miss them.
Okay. Pretty happy with that so far. All right, when you're going along, definitely take every so often, just take a few minutes every so often to clean your guard out. Make sure you don't have a bunch of hair built up in there. Uh, it'll keep the clippers from overheating and keep it cutting quickly. Uh, there are some maintenance steps you can use, but I definitely just make sure to refer back to the manufacturer's recommendations. That's kind of my go-to answer for a lot of things. If there's an owner's manual for it or like a little instructional manual, utilize that. I'm not going to give you any sort of tips and tricks on that one. And quite frankly, I lost my instructor's manual. So yeah, I probably just need to look it up online. So. All right, so far so good. Keeping it fairly straight around. The back's always going to be a bit of an issue, but you'll just have to utilize your two mirrors and clean it up as you go. I'm left-handed, so the left side is going to be super easy. Right side, I always struggle with. So uh, yeah, <laughs> hope you enjoy that part. All right, so now you got your bald line cut, you're going to look a bit like a pencil eraser. You look around right in there. Let's figure out how to get this camera angled. Okay, so there is a little bit of evening up I can do on it, but for the most part, uh, pretty straight across, and that's the big thing to eyeball. Uh, back of the head looks pretty okay. Yeah. So yeah, a lot of this is going to be just going back and touching things up as you go along. I really don't like like getting haircuts in, in clothes because, uh, yeah, that's sorry, it's itching like crazy. So I'm going to hurry up and finish this and then make sure to get myself cleaned up afterwards, not to mention the mess. So far, most of the hair is going into the sink, which uh, makes for easy cleanup. Uh, but like I said, throwing down a garbage bag or uh, a grocery bag will uh, benefit you in the long run. It keeps you from getting hair in all the ugh, wrong places. All right, so from here, I'm going to go ahead and swap blades from the one millimeter. I'm going to skip the three millimeter and I'm going to go, let's see. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to go right to the nine and that way I can work my way back with the seven and then the three to help blend it all together. I think the nine's a good safe bet because for how long my hair is up top. All right, so we'll go to the nine, trim up the edges, and then we'll start blending. All right, so with the nine clipper guards, I'm just kind of going over the back and feel my way along. If there's any long patches or anything like that close to the calic, I'll go ahead and just run them over them with the knife. And it's kind of just doing a real fine trim right now. It's the main thing. It's not, not going to, I don't have to worry about it taking any major divots out of my hair or anything like that. This is not going to be anything that's going to be glaringly obvious, obvious if I jack something up. That'll come in the next steps when I start blending it in. Okay, so I'm getting a pretty good even even cut all the way on the back. I'm going to leave the front a little longer and it doesn't look super obvious that it's a little longer in the front. I mean, you can definitely tell in the light, but ah, right about now, I, I'm, I feel like I'm starting to look like a werewolf, but man, I'm not itchy. This, wearing this whole tank top thing kind of sucks when you're cutting your hair. So if you can invest in the drape or if, even if you use a plastic bag, you can drape it over your shoulders, but then you kind of limit your, uh, your range of motion of your arms. Uh, or better yet, find someone in your household to uh, cut the hair for you. Um, Christina's offered a couple of times, but uh, I'm too much of a chicken to let anyone really else cut my hair outside of, outside of a professional. And I'm by no means a professional, but if, I mean, if I jack up my hair, then I'm, I'm mad at me. Uh, somebody that I, I, I love that jacks up my hair, then I don't want to be mad at them. And I don't like, yeah, anyways, I don't like being mad. All right, so from here, I'm going to go ahead and ditch the number nine blade, make sure that my clippers are nice and fluffed so that's what mostly the number nine kicks off whenever I'm using it it's a lot of really fine hairs uh, now I'll go to the number seven and start blending and then I'll follow that up with the oh no wait maybe yeah I'll follow it up with the number three and blend a little further I'll probably alternate back and forth between the seven and the three depending on the uh, how my hair's looking so yeah we'll just have to wait and see a lot of this like I said I'm by no means a professional and I've only been doing this, well, all year, but I usually only cut my hair for maybe once or twice a month. So, yeah, well. Okay, so for now, I'm just kind of feeling out the back, especially around that cowlick, and trimming it down with the number seven blade. Or, I keep calling it a blade, it's a guard. It's a number seven guard. I'm just trying to find any long patches. I'll guide my hand across, and if I feel anything that's out of place, I'll run over with the clippers. So far, it's kind of blended up kind of nice. I'm going to have to double check my work, obviously. Clip a little bit, check my work. All right, a couple long patches. 
it's okay. I can I can fix those easily. All right. Yep. Check my work. Get back into it. Find the spots. Yep. There they are right there. Watch this. I'm gonna sneeze and cut off a big chunk of hair. Nope. It's gone. No sneezing. If I was smart, I would just turn off the clippers and let it pass. But no. So far, so good. Yeah, it's kind of got a, just a slight bevel right there, but nothing crazy. All right. Yeah. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the number three blade guard. <laughs> I'll keep uh, I'll keep blending. All right, so with the number three guard, it's got these this angled ed edge right here. You want to make sure to apply a kind of a a lift away technique whenever you're doing this. So when you get going, you want to have it going. And you're, you're cutting, you're cutting, and instead of like following the contours of your skull, you basically just want to go straight up and against the edge of your bald line and into the longer hair. And this will start really blending it in. It's gonna look a little bit goofy when you're done, but if you give it a couple days to, to grow out a little bit, it'll blend right up and it'll look like you went to the BX. Uh, or if you get really good at it, it'll look even better than going to the BX for a haircut. So the idea is you're just trying to get rid of that real abrupt edge between the short hair and the rest of your hairdo. Your do, if you will. Now going on to the back of the skull, you're going to be kind of just doing a little bit of guesswork. So cut a little bit, see how it's trimming, and then double check your work in the mirror. Get a little sketched out between multitasking here and cutting my hair and talking to the camera. See, this is where it's gonna get jacked up and I'll have no one to blame but myself. All right, so at this point, you should have it pretty well blended. Uh, you could definitely tell there's still a little bit of a line there. That's okay, I'll go back over that with the number one edge guard again. And yeah, as I, was, as I suspected and as I mentioned before, the right side of my head uh, it's going to require a little bit more work just because uh, it's, it's an awkward angle for me to get to and my right hand does not obey me. <laughs> like it's, it, it's got a mind of its own. It kind of, it, it has the dumb. It, it, it's a little bit on the dumb side. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to keep working at it. Uh, like I said, just take your time at this. Uh, don't try and rush it because that's when bad things happen. Uh, just like anything. Yeah, just take your time. Uh, I would say enjoy the process, but this, is, this isn't a fun process. So, uh, but just, hey, just think, uh, just think of the money you're saving. All right, that should pretty well do it for the initial portion. Uh, what you want to do now is go ahead and get yourself cleaned up, uh, shower off, make sure to keep the hair in the area where you were trimming. Uh, definitely don't track it on the carpet or your spouse will murder you as mine would probably do so. Um, yeah, the hair is a big cleanup part. Is uh, Getting hair slivers, it's like getting, if you've had a fiberglass splinter, it's very similar to that. Like It takes a while to work out. You can't just take a pocket knife to one of these things and and uh, dig it out of your skin that way. It's gotta, it's gotta work itself out, and it's not pleasant. Um, gosh, I got it all over my neck. Itchy stuff. Okay, yeah, but that's one of the hazards doing it yourself. Uh, you don't have the, the professional cleanliness involved with the whole process. Uh, so now, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get everything cleaned up, uh, jump in the shower, and then we'll see if there's any spots I might have missed, and that should wrap up the haircut again. I don't know if I mentioned before, uh, the sink makes a good collection point for the hair. Don't let it go down the drain. No, that's bad. If once it goes down the drain, it's uh, it's going to probably clog your pipes over time, and then you'll probably have to get a plumber or get yourself. I'm not sure what products you can use to get hair cleaned out of a drain if it's really bad, but yeah, don't let that stuff go down there. Save yourself some time and some hassle. All right, that ought to do it. I'm um, all cleaned up and dried off after the shower. My hair's all kind of fluffy right now. All right, at this point, you should be able to style however you want. Uh, let me tell you, when I'm doing my military career, you better believe I'm going to be doing all kinds of crazy stuff. Let's let it grow out. I'm going to rock my mohawk again. I rocked one in high school for a little while, and I love that thing. But, uh, yeah, mess is all cleaned up. Hair's looking okay. Uh, I'm sure I'll find some spots here and there as I go. Christina always finds something that I miss when she's... Uh, observing my work. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Uh, this is going to be probably a new stepping stone for us, uh, hopefully in an attempt to get better at vlogging. 
uh, it's it's gonna be a hassle like for some reason just talking to this camera like uh, like I'm talking to somebody like, just across the room it just uh, I don't know there's a bit of a mental block there for me <laughs> anyways I appreciate everyone's patience and I really hope to uh, keep doing this and I hope that you guys enjoy the content uh, until next time take care